Listen to part of a conversation between a student and a housing officer. Good afternoon. Can I help you with something today? Maybe so. The paint in my room is peeling off, and I am getting paint chips all over the place. So, I have been trying to get my room repainted, and applied for maintenance to repaint the wall. But, it's been more than a month now, and nothing's been done. That's strange. We usually get paint jobs done fairly quickly, to minimize the problems of inconveniencing residents of the building. When did you submit your request? As a matter of fact, I submitted two requests. One on the 10th, which is a month from today. And the second, on the 25th, which is roughly two weeks ago. Okay, let me check the system, and see if I can figure out what has happened here. Can I have your name and room number? It's Nicholas Kirkwood, room 204. All right. Hmm, the painter has been around your room twice. First one, on the 12th in the morning, and the second, on the 27th in the afternoon. And, it looks like nobody was home. Of course, no one is home. I have classes in the morning and the afternoon. Well then, you didn't check the box on the form you submitted, to give permission to let the maintenance personnel in your room when you were out. Which is why he couldn't get in to paint the room. Oh, I didn't know I was supposed to check the box. What should I do now? It's just an oversight. You can fill out another request form, and make sure to check the permission box, to allow access to your room. Okay, that's pretty simple. I think I can do that. But, I think I will have a tough time packing away my stuff again, in boxes, to keep it out of the way for the paint job. I've got a lot on my plate right now, with two papers due next Monday. And, I have a final presentation I need to prepare for tomorrow. I see. Then, you may want to submit your request after you have packed your stuff into boxes. The painter will likely come around within two business days once you've submitted your form. Okay, I'll definitely make sure to do that. Question 1. Why does the student go to see the housing officer? Question 2. Which of these statements about the student is true? Question 3. Listen again to part of the conversation. Then answer the question. What does the student mean when he says this? I've got a lot on my plate right now, with two papers due next Monday. Question 4. What does the housing officer suggest the student do? Question 5. What will the student most likely do next?